All right, Aquarius, here we go. This is a soulmate energies update, or for you, you're showing up in your reading here. So your, your reading might be similar to Virgo's, where I pull a reading for you and uh, see what's, well, what the energies are that are around you. But anyway, it's a reading for April 2022 for Aquarius. How about that? It's a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you, but if the title brought you in here or you found Steve's Love Tarot, you're probably here for a reason. Mm, I don't know. Why not? Uh, okay. Hmm. Well, some of you are waiting on a soulmate to come in, okay? Some of you are not. I get that from the energy. Some of you have been doing... Aquarians are one of the signs, you and Virgo in particular, have been doing a lot of work on yourselves. You've really been doing the work in this last cycle of spiritual journey. And right here in my pre-shuffle, I got the Ace of Swords crossed by the Five of Cups, all right? This is, well, to tell you what this is, I have to realize here, I have to show you the moon and the six of wands. It's basically, while this girl topless out here, that's you, outside topless, right there, in scorched earth, is, real, is realizing some things. You're realizing the truth about everything you learned here. The, the, a lot of things from the depths within you have come to the surface. And you're getting victory over those. You're realizing that they don't have any power over you anymore. All right, there's a feeling of regret that's going away here because of these epiphanies, because of these realizations, because of the things you've learned. And I, I, I got nothing but roses and rainbows here. I got six of wands, I got the sun, I got the king of pentacles, there's stability, happiness. You're, you're, I say this to you all the time, but your soul energy and your ego energy are coming into balance beautifully. This is the most balanced energy I've had. You know, the 11th sign I'm doing here as I fly around the zodiac, and I'm banging them all out today. You know, I'm trying to get to everybody here on Monday just to get them done. And also so that I can focus on the energies of April for some of the readings coming up like the new moon. But it's... This is the most balanced, so I've done a lot of readings today. And this is the most balanced I've seen. Now, for those of you that are waiting on a soulmate, this is somebody who knows that, you know, they have a lot of regret here. They know what they did. And they know that it was their shit that made them do it. They are getting victory over it. They're kind of getting over it a little bit. But they do still want to communicate with you. They want to fix things. Okay? So I'll give you the double layer energy there. All right? But primarily, you're the primary energy here. Yeah, I'm, it's, it's, it's amazing to see. It comes across in my weekly readings and one card for each sign Friday readings all the time. Let's do it. Let's shuffle the deck here for Aquarius. Give me Aquarius energies, soulmate or otherwise, for April 2022. And I don't know which, which reading I'm going to do for you yet. If I'm going to do it the way I did it with Virgo, which is the cure for cancer style reading or if I'm going to do my usual reading here. I'm not sure. Let me see what comes in. First card here is before the cut. It's why the fuck are we here? And it's the page of swords. <sighs> this is a, on your side. This is a curiosity. This, this is about learning. Always learn. One of the things you've learned is to always keep learning. When you stop learning, you stop growing. And when you stop growing, you stop living. Also, this is somebody who wants to talk to you. For those of you waiting for a soulmate. Uh, this is going to be one of those readings, is it? Not going to be cut and dry, are you? You can't do that to me on the 11th sign, universe, huh? Right here. Knight of Swords. Forging ahead. It's charging ahead. It's a fast-moving energy. Um, it is somebody who wants to tell you something. I think that's all of you. I think you've all, at some point, been screwed over by somebody. It doesn't have to be the soulmate, the runner soulmate, although it is soulmate energies I tend to pull on here. Somebody does want to tell you something. But for some of you, and you might need to think about this, you know, this might be one of those deep thought things. There's something you want to tell yourself. Okay? I, I get that. I feel obliged to say it. Do with it what you will. Give it deep thoughts. You know? Sit back with a bong and give it some deep thoughts. I don't know. Whatever. No, let's go. Let's shuffle, <laughs> let's shuffle the deck here. And I'm not advocating that. All right. It's a joke. All right, here we go. Shuffle the deck here. <laughs> I'm going to get yelled at for that one. Ah, here we right. Whatever. Ad-lib videos, right? No script. Anyway. Oh, come on now. It's legal in the state I live in, so fuck off. Anyway, right here, shuffling the deck for Aquarius for April 2022. Mm, 
what do we got what do we got here okay our overall energy is the seven of swords Ooh, ooh, ooh okay ah, ah. and the five of wands this was the first pre-shuffle I did for you I shuffled twice for your pre-shuffle this was the first pre-shuffle this these were the cards that came out I didn't want them because I knew what they meant and the universe wants to give me a whole reading on it. It's not because I it's not because they're negative. It's it's because I need to give the lecture of you staying out of your head and to make sure you're being honest with yourself about things and try not to overthink things and create demons here or dragons where there are none. But I think for some of you with a soulmate that that person's doing that. Because this is pertaining to so that card wasn't there. This is pertaining this is the four of cups. It's pertaining to on the soulmate side someone who didn't want you before who still does but they're telling themselves that they don't and it causes them a great deal of strain on your side with the four of cups here if you get in your head too much and you don't deal with everything you don't take it all out of the closet Aqu aquarius all out of the closet then you're going to reject some things that maybe you shouldn't you know maybe pity party kind of thing i guess is the easiest way to put it because things are about to change big time here. The wheel of fortune is there. That's a powerful energy of change. We're moving into a new cycle and that, that new cycle does not allow for wishy-washiness. I'm encouraging you, make sure you're honest with yourself about everything you're working on. Leave no stone left unturned, okay? And don't get in your head about shit, you're fine, all right? Right here, energy on the flip. I'm going to uh, do a regular reading, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna adjust it because there's two energies here. There's some of you waiting on a soulmate and there's some of you not. I'll give you both angles. All right? We'll just try and play it that way. This is the energy around you or your connection. This is how you or your connection feels. <laughs> this is how, this is your soul energy, okay? Or how somebody feels about you in the soul. This is the hidden energy, what the universe wants you to know. And I'll tell you, it's red with the overall energy here, the uh, energy of the connection or your energy. Right here's the potential final outcome for whatever. Uh, I will clarify everything, throw some universe cards over the top. If I think I need to extend it, I will. Let's see. What's the first card out? What's the energy around you, Aquarius? King of Wands. Well, on your side, you're the shit. The King of Wands gets whatever they want. It's a very attractive energy. They got a little black book the size of a New York City phone book. It's a beautiful energy to actually have around you. You have a lot to be proud of. He's laughing in this witch's deck. It's the Laughing King. I don't know if my camera will pick that up, but it's the Laughing King, right? You got You don't have a worry in the world. That's why this Seven of Swords and this Cross by this Five of Wands is important for you to understand. Uh, where, where it pertains to a soulmate connection, well, again, somebody's lying to themselves that they're not interested, and it, they're just fooling themselves here, big time. Big time, big time, big time. Ego, pride, all that kind of thing. I don't know. Anyway, let's talk about emotions. Ten swords. Coming to the end of things. But this applies soulmate or you. Ten swords. Tens are the end. The dead, absolute death end. I told you at the bottom here, we can't forget it. There's a wheel of fortune here. Everything is changing. There's a lot that's coming your way. It's coming in slowly. There's a knight of pentacles underneath that. This is nice. Make sure you're dealing with everything. Okay? Make sure you're dealing with everything. As far as your soulmate goes, well, they think it's over. They're lying to themselves that it's over. It's done. And, and when they do that, it causes five wands within them. But, but in their emotions, they're like, no, it's done. I'm never going to talk to Aquarius. It's no big deal. Whatever. Ha, ha, ha. Fucking liar. Yeah, hear that? The bird laughed and he a Pisces. Yeah, he's waiting for that Pisces reading, too. Uh, right here, the... Uh, soul energy let's take a look you mind if i take a look at your soul would you disrobe from the waist down please let me take a look at your soul <laughs> right there a ace of pentacles yeah i know it's funny i know he a pisces you know uh ace of pentacles my god you're the shit okay the shit it's unreal ace of pentacles in the soul I, that's like the best thing i can pull there i mean i, I could have pulled the empress maybe uh that is awesome that's fucking awesome. That's why I said this is the laughing king. Where it pertains to you, you're the shit. You got no worries. So chill the fuck out. Make sure you take everything out of that closet. All of it. 
the handsy uncle all the way through the boyfriend or girlfriend that sucked sucked the life out of you all of it make sure it's all out of there you're moving into a whole new cycle it's a whole new you all right as far as the soulmate goes they think they're good they, th they think they're good. They think they got it. Again, The Laughing King. It's bookending The Laughing King. They think it's over. They think it's done. They're full of shit. Make sure you're real with yourself. I'm not concerned with that soulmate too much. I won't keep giving you the energy on it. But it's a secondary energy about two layers down. I won't lie to you. Alright? Fuck them. You don't need them. Uh, you don't. And you're fooling yourself if you, if you think you do. If you think you do, you, you need to take another look. This is beautiful energy. Okay, what's the universe want to tell Aquarius? It's red with my laughing king here. The devil. Make sure everything is out of the closet. There's this is telling me this is why the Seven of Swords is it's minor devil minor devil energy. Very minor. But it's here. Anything left in the closet, anything you're not shining a light on, will come back to scare you in the dark. All right, as you go through on your new journey, we are right now at the Ten of Swords. It's about to reset to an Ace of Swords for you. And the soul, you're good. I think you're good. I don't think there's much. I think this energy pertains more to the soulmate energy, to be honest with you, of the person who thinks that they're good and it's over. I'm never going to talk to Aquarius. And they're full of shit. They're obsessed with you. The fact that they... What, what, wait a second. Before you go, well, why would they say that? Why, why you say that? Because if they, if the fact that they even have to say out loud, I'm never going to go in, I'm fine. They think about this all the time. So the fact that they think about it, if, if you're done, you're done. And we know that wishy-washy this in the new cycle leads to towers. That applies to you too. So again, make sure everything's, make sure you shine a light on everything. Don't be like these people. Don't be afraid to look at it. It's okay. It's fine. What's the potential final outcome here? Look at that shit. Look at that shit. This is chariot. Yeah. Once you clear everything out, you're fine. It's, it's cruise control. It's cruise control upright. Some of you might be moving on your Aquarian energy as I pull on the Aquarian energy. Yeah, some of you might be. But it's, it's, it's all systems go. It's cruise control on, lean back, lean, ease the seat back. You know, it really is. Um, it's red with the Ten of Swords. So the past is being put behind here in, in a big way. And you're all moving forward. Um, and I said you were balanced in your energy. The emperor drives the chariot. You know, that's what's really cool. And I, I for some reason, pull, and, and I shouldn't. There's no reason for it. But I pull an empress type, type energy off of this. It's a very nice balance here, your soul and the final outcome. It's nice. For the soulmate, they're coming right for you. All right? They're not count, telling themselves that they're over. For those of you that are still waiting on somebody. You know, you're all still connected to your soulmate, but some of them are just drifting away. Some of them are very light energy off in the distance, all right? The odds of them coming towards you is pretty nil. But for those of you that are, that are here going, I wonder what my soulmate's going to do. Well, your soulmate is going to reach rock bottom and come rushing right in towards you because they're full of shit that it's over, okay? Look at that. You're getting two readings in one here. Now, I'm going to clarify with the little animal deck all right the animal deck and the witch's deck love each other all right let's see where we go here king of wands let's clarify that's my theme song why is the king of wands here tell me about it let's go aha aha seven swords some of you are fooling yourself some of you are not that seven swords came back again. The universe keeps shoving it in my face. It's red with this devil down here. You know there's still something in there. Some of you. Not all. But some of you. Make sure. Alright. Do not fool yourself about anything. If you're not okay, it just admit you're not okay yet 100%. Alright. That's fine. Nobody ever 100% anyway. If you're, if you're saying I'm 100% okay, you're 100% you're not okay. Alright. The best you can hope for in life for anything is maybe 92%, 93%. Real honestly, because shit always happens. But anyway, make sure you're honest with yourself. Also, this is telling me for your soulmate, again, reiterating, the Laughing King is full of shit. All right? They want nothing more than to come racing towards you. Two of Wands. Put, 
leave one one behind you start I just got done saying you're starting a whole new you on a whole new journey leave one 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 behind make sure the universe wants to hammer this home I don't know why I'm gonna say it again it's why I reshuffled when that came up I get so tired of telling you guys the same thing over and over again about don't get in your head make sure you're you're being honest with yourself fine the universe wants to hammer it home three times apparently there's a good chunk of you out there that are leaving something behind okay whatever it is deal with it because you have to there's a, just big changes coming your way and they're very nice changes I might add ace of Pentacles ace of Pentacles in the soul ace of Pentacles here put the past behind you're moving into a, a period of ace of Pentacles and I was just about to say I was just about to say that ace of Pentacles in the soul is proof that it's positive things coming your way and I throw an ace of Pentacles right there all right if you're waiting on a soulmate, you need them to let go of this laughing king, pride, Burger King behavior before they come towards you. They need to come right or they shouldn't bother at all because you, all you Aquarians watching, if you're drawn to my channel, if you're drawn to this reading, are going through these positive changes. All right. All right. Ten of, ten of Swords. Here we go. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Tell me about the Ten of Swords. Yeah, Pisces is next. Just relax. Okay, calm down. Take it easy. All right, here we go. Oh, there, there we go. Uh, six of Cups. The past is gone. I'm reminded of the song, as soon as I threw that card, Aerosmith got a song, one of my favorites from them. It's one of their first hits. It's called Dream On. This is Aerosmith's Dream On energy right here. A lot of people like it when it, you know, the universe always gives me songs because music is very important to me. My life is a soundtrack. I myself am a musician, so music is very important to me. Um, Dream On. It's listen to the song, you know. It, it's, I, it just has that kind of feel to it. You know, the words may not be an exact fit, it might just be one or two lines from it, but. Uh, the past is gone, you know. You got to let it go, move forward, because what, what you're moving forward into is really nice. That applies to those of you waiting for a soulmate, too. I'm sorry. You know, this, this devil energy here is primarily their energy. I don't know what that's about, but I still think they're afraid to open up. We'll find out. Yeah, Queen of Swords. Um, it, it's someone who's detaching from the past. It's a detached energy. As it pertains to the soulmate, they got something they want to say this is far from over again they're full of shit that it's over all right i'm just going to say that they really are they they've got something they want to say to you for, for most of you they won't for some of you they will it's a faint energy for some of you it's a stronger energy than others for fuck's sake uh queen of swords is here because of the high priestess lead with your soul detachment means you know in a way it kind of means that you're just letting the universe drive. Can I phrase it that way? Right? And, and feel free to dream on. It really is. Anything is possible with the Ace of Pentacles and the soul in my reading. And this is my reading. I'm telling you, this is beautiful right here. Uh, it's, it's straight up. Man, if you're waiting on a soulmate, their intuition is driving them to want to, is saying, screaming at them to reach out and say something to you. Okay? Because they're full of shit that it's over. Mm -hmm. I heard you laugh at that. All right, you wait till I get to the Pisces reading. Mm. All right, uh, Ace of Pentacles. Why is it here? Why is the Ace of Pentacles here in the soul? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Jesus Christ, come on. I got to sort the cards here. Uh, Wheel of Fortune. Jesus Christ. A Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck, too, I showed you. You got an Ace of Pentacles in the soul, Wheel of Fortune, and Ace of Pentacles in the energy around you, provided you're honest with yourself and you let the past go. Dream on. Okay? I feel like grabbing a guitar and playing the riff right now. I can play that piano part on the guitar. It's right there. It, oh my God, I feel like singing you the song on some level. I mean, it's not, there's only a couple of lines from it that mean anything to you. Not about the lines on your face getting clearer and clearer, but some of you are. Life ain't get. you're not getting any younger. No point holding on to bullshit. Let, let the universe drive and dream on. Wheel of Fortune crossing an Ace of Pentacles in the soul. And if you're waiting for a soulmate, 
The energy here is that of somebody who thinks they're okay, but that's going to turn. It's going to turn because of this devil energy. Mm -hmm. What's on top? Jesus. Queen of Cups. The most love I can pull from the deck. Your soul is in good shape. It's a tuned up sports car. It really is. Some of you just got one more thing, one or two more things that you're jamming yourself up with that you need to let go of. Alright? My God. I had you disrobe for me to read your soul. And I'm telling you, it's nice down there. Alright? I know it's unprofessional to say that. If the doctor said that, you probably sued them. But I, I'm telling you, it's damn nice. Looking good. Mm. Eight of Wands. Passionate forward movement. Amazing energy here. Amazing. All the right cards. I usually say pentacles don't belong in the soul. Now, not the Ace of Pentacles. That's beautiful. As far as your person, if you're waiting on a soulmate, they, have, they may say that they're fine. That Ace of Pentacles says they got everything they need. They're fine. This is over. Again, I reiterate the Queen of Cups. They have huge love for you. And it's driving them to want to reach out. But they reach out from a devil perspective. You guys are getting two readings in one. This is amazing. This will make 13 readings I do when I fly around the Zodiac this time. Okay. Uh, the devil, let's pull on it. This is nice. All right, you can put your pants back on now. and I'll just fill out some paperwork here. All right, there's your... Tell me about this devil here. What's the universe want to tell us? What's the universe want to tell us? I'd have made a terrible gynecologist. I'd have been off. I'd be getting sued left and right. All right. Uh, I'd be refusing patience. No. No, 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 no. Not you, though. That's nice energy there. I like that. Uh, devil. What is this devil? Nine of Wands. Mm. This pertains to your soulmate, those of you that are waiting for a soulmate primarily. Like I said, this is someone who is who has held back from you because of their own shit. They've got a wall, they've, they're shut down emotionally. This is why they're showing up as ten swords in their emotions. They're shut down emotionally. Shut down emotionally, detached. Yet their intuition is still alive and kicking and filled with love and the desire for forward movement. But this devil is what may is what's been keeping them back. It's, it's past pain that they shut down over. Or they're just, again, like all the DMs in this cycle, they're afraid to be vulnerable. You know, afraid to tell you how they feel. There's some extenuating circumstance here, though. There's some sort of toxic, toxin, toxic energy. It could be someone around them. It could be within them. Excuse me. Uh, what's on top of you? Yeah, Ace of Cups. There's a lot of love here. I got Queen of Cups. She holds the Ace of Cups. I got Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is red with the Two of Wands. When they, when they finally let go of something, of whatever is causing this Nine of Wands, this wall to go up, they will come towards you. Those of you that are waiting for a soulmate. All right? Why is the Ace of Cups here? But what you're going to get, because it's rooted in devil energy, is, is a rattlesnake. It's Fakey McFakerman. They're not going to tell you completely how they feel. All right? And it's going to take a while for this person to let go of it. This Queen of Wands is they, they've. Uh, also, it could say that they've held on to this phony behavior for a long time. This is Fakey McFakerman. This is somebody who says one thing I don't like you that much. I'm fine. I don't need you. And feels a lot of love underneath. This is what they really feel. Okay? And it's going to take this person a little while to open up. It's not a bad thing. If you're waiting to hear from them, be patient and let them give them a chance to open up. Maybe, I think if they feel comfortable, they'll open up. There's some sort of toxin around this, this person you're waiting on that's causing them to, you know, it's slowing them way down, causing them to keep love locked up, sealed up with cellophane, you know, keep that wall up. I don't know. They will eventually open up, but the person you end up talking to here as tied to this chariot for those of you where the person comes in, which is a fair number of you, if you're waiting on that person, um, is going to be a little bit. And I'm seeing this a lot in April. And I haven't been using this deck. This is this little animal deck here. You're like the second time I used it in a whole fly through on the Zodiac. And there it is. It's right there. It's still coming out. Queen of Wands has been everywhere, except where I thought it would be. Interesting. Um, right here, uh, the, em uh, the Emperor. The Emperor drives the chariot. Yeah. The chariot. Aquarius, 
Um, if I were to tie this energy to you, Aquarius, I would say make sure, you know, make sure you love, when you love something, make sure you get real with it, okay? The only thing that would cause you to not get real with it is, is fears from things from the past, and you can't let fears drive your life. Dream on. Let the damn universe drive, all right? Let your intuition drive. Use your brain. You're smart. Use your brain logic to make sure you're not doing something stupid, but, you know, let the intuition drive. You won't go wrong. I follow my intuition all the time. I never go wrong. I'm all right. I've done fine. All right. Chariot. Here we go. Why is the chariot here? It's always. This always comes up for you. Eight swords. The only thing stopping your progress is you. The only thing we have to fear is fear itself. It's that kind of thing. It is. The only thing we have to fear is fear itself. Because fear is what fucks us up. That's why. You know? It's, it's the Eight of Swords. It's fear. It's fear that we create. It's tied a little bit to this devil energy over here. Alright? The only and For those of you waiting on a soulmate, the only thing that gets in the way of them coming in, why not all of them are coming in, why it's just some, is because some of them just get in their head too much and they drown out the soul energy. And when they do that, they turn right into pure fakey McFakerman. Nah, I don't need Aquarius, whatever, I'm fine. Which is... Say it with me. Bullshit. Okay? That's our overall energy. Our overall energy here for Aquarius, your, you, your energy, is about getting real. Alright? Seven, seven of Swords. The overall energy for those waiting for a soulmate, because i got a split audience here, is they're full of shit. Okay? And they're full of shit even if they show up. They're fakey McFakerman. But that's okay. With time, they will change. You can work on that. This It'll take a while for them to crack into this Schlitz can here of love. But they will. And you, Aquarius, stay the fuck out of your head. I have to say that to you in every reading. It doesn't apply to all of you. Some of you are pretty good about staying out of your head. But stay the fuck out of your head. It's only going to get in your way. Look at this fucking reading. Look at the soul energy. I took pictures. All right, I'm not supposed to tell you that. I did. I had you disrobe. I know. I... I I took pictures. Uh, uh, it's beautiful. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come in after this, take a screenshot of this exam right here, of your soul. It's beautiful. Right here. What's on top? Three swords. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cold detachment. Now, you know, you might think three swords. It, it, it's on top of a chariot, right? It's about moving on. I could say it's about moving on from pain, from past pain. It's red with the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords tells you, called detachment from the past. These cards are red with these cards. So where it pertains to you, Aquarius, it's again, deal with the past. Be truthful with yourself about what caused you pain in your life and move past it. Called detachment from the past. And that allows you to move on. For those of you that are waiting for a goddamn soulmate to come in, I can be perfectly honest with you and tell you that when they show up as Fakey McFakerman, they're a little bit cold and detached. That might trigger you on some level. Don't let it. Don't let it trigger you. Don't let it. Don't start thinking that they don't like you or this or that or the other thing. They're they're just scared of you. They love the fuck out of you. All right. So you need to love the fuck out of yourself so that you can teach them how to love and how to love you, if you want to. If you don't, tell them to fuck off because you're hurt about their cold detachment. It's up to you what you do with people, all right? What's the last card out? What comes after three swords? I love this. It's the emperor. It is amazing. It is absolutely amazing. I said the emperor drives the chariot, and I said I felt an empress-type energy, a divine feminine energy around this ace of pentacles, and I pulled the queen of cups. That is that energy. It's there. I felt it. I knew it was there. And I said, you had a good balance with the emperor driving the chariot and this feminine energy over here. You had a really good balance of your ego and your pride and your soul energy. And right there, there it is to balance everything out. It's a very balanced emperor. This is an emperor energy. You're your own emperor and your own empress. You're very balanced within yourself. All right. As long as you dealt with all the pain from the past and you put it behind you, you understand why you got hurt. Okay, And for those of you waiting on a soulmate, you've got an emperor coming in. It is your divine masculine we're pulling on. And it's red with the high priestess. They're keeping a lot of secrets from you. I got the moon, Silent Bob, in front of Chatty Cathy, the sun. 
on this card. There's an eclipse on this card. There's a lot that they're hiding, a lot underneath the surface, a lot of secrets. That's why they're fakey McFakerman. Cut them some slack if you want to. If you give this person time, they will open up and tell you more about how they feel if they show up, okay? If you don't want to, tell them to fuck off. You can do that too. Because everything I'm telling Aquarians who aren't waiting for the soulmate applies to you too. It's your energy as well. Okay? So that's that. This is nice. Fuck. All right, I'm going to pull. Well, I'm going to go back to the witches. Hold on. Go back to the witches. One day I'm going to accidentally call them the bitches. It's going to be by accident, I swear. I love this deck. All right, here we go. Why? Give me um, three cards and a crossing card. What else you want to tell Aquarius before we go? I'm not going to extend this one. There's no need. I've given you all I need to do. I mean, as much as I'd love to give you another soul exam. Uh, but I took pictures, so it's fine. Uh, let's do three cards and a crossing card here. Let's do three cards and a crossing card. What else you want to tell Aquarius before we go? Before I go pull a Pisces reading for a very antsy bird. He a Pisces, you know. All right. Let's see what we got. Okay. Wow. Jesus. Holy fuck. Okay. Three of Cups. The Magician. The Ten of Pentacles. The Magician crossed by the Hermit. My God. This is just a message for you. Okay? This has nothing to do with a soulmate coming towards you. Not a goddamn thing. Oh, sorry, I, I touched my mic by accident. I hope I didn't blow someone's eardrums out. This is the Hermit. This is you, Aquarius. You. Pay attention. The Hermit. Your inner wisdom. I got the High Priestess and the Hermit here. Jesus Christ. Your inner wisdom. Your soul is perfectly balanced. The, the, crossing the Magician here. Man, I mean, it's, it's go time. You're ready to be open emotionally. I mean, I can say you got all the tools you need. You do. You got the soul tools and the 3D tools. You're ready to be open emotionally. You're ready for Ten Pentacles, even if those Ten Pentacles are just you. Right? You giving yourself the Ten Pentacles. It doesn't matter. It really is. Because this card is, I like the Witch's deck here because you get some options. You got a guy sitting by, a very wise hermit looking guy, I might add, sitting by himself. He got himself a little, a dog. The, the, the dog doesn't have to be a dog. It could be any kind of pet. It could be a parrot, right? I got me one of those. An antsy Pisces right now. Is it Pisces yet? Yeah. But it could be anything. Fish, whatever. Oh, just whatever. Just Or the dog's gone. No pet. Just you by yourself. And there's a couple here. You could take it or leave it either way. You're good. So... If there's anything left, any seven of swords, any devil energy left, okay, cut it the fuck out. Pull it out of there, deal with it, spend this time in April dealing with it because as we move more and more into the energy, that wheel turns for you. We got two wheel of fortunes in your reading. It's unreal. Okay, and the best soul exam I've ever, I've ever given, I swear to God, that's fucking mind blowing. Good for you. All right, I'm out of here. You ready for Pisces? Okay. All right, I'm out of here. That's your reading. <laughs> He's very antsy about it. All right, that's your reading. I hope it was helpful. Uh, if I help one person today, one fucking Aquarius, I've done my job, karmically speaking. That's good enough for me. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. I hope the fuck you like this reading. I gave you two readings in one here. This is split energy. I didn't have to do that. So, it's that old uh, ZZ Top tune, right? You didn't have to, but you did, but you did, but you did. And I thank you. All right. Good luck, Aquarius.